everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and this will be my review of Fear the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 2. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up. A mostly quick assessment of this episode. A baby cried for a long, long time through the whole episode, and they found some food, and the end. I do think they could have limited the baby crying stuff in the episode, but hey, you know, I know they had to tell the story of Morgan was trying to take care of the baby more so than Grace a little bit because she was still having issues about losing a baby and the baby crying and everything that that was an issue with her. So she wanted to leave the sub pretty much just to get away from the baby. And eventually in the show, she wanted to leave Morgan and the baby. So Grace was definitely having issues, but they were all having issues because the food had run out. The episode's called Six Hours, and that's the amount of time they can kind of go out and uh, look for food and stuff and scavenge and get back. Now, you know, there's a lot of rules about wearing the mask, don't breathe in the air, and this and that. And Grace took off her mask at one point out in the stuff. And, you know, she's already radiated a little bit, I think, uh, or still got some in her probably. So you'll see that a lot back and forth here and there that they break the rules that the show itself kind of has given for this second apocalypse but that's just production that's just to show i try not to let those little details bother me too much anymore so morgan makes a car uh finds a diesel running car gets some diesel out of the sub he makes it where it's all airtight and everything he makes a little soup for the baby they go out to the car and head down the road they run into some people who tries to take the baby, and um, they also run into a mysterious figure, which I'll get to here in just a minute. And the two people that they ran into who had already been scarred up and damaged to the point that they were going to die no matter what, they had a baby that had died, and it was a zombie in a suitcase, so that was kind of creepy and weird. But with those people, we did learn a big clue, I think, as far as Padre and what had happened and some of the questions we had from the first episode. Many of you predicted that Padre meant Padre Island. Padre Island is a part of a barrier island chain there, right around the edge end tip of Texas. And if you'll see on the map, Padre is circled around just south, southeast of the town of Victoria. Corpus Christi would still be to the south toward the tip of Texas. And actually, Padre Island specifically is still south of there, as far as where the circled Padre is on the map there. But it does show what looks like to be the detonation points, the red circles, the red spots, and the fallout of each of those missiles where they landed, supposedly. And Grace said they hit the ground, or at least around where they were. And the green, the lines, should be the fallout area. So a lot of people ask why didn't the people in the Walking Dead main show know about it. It's just because the fallout didn't reach them. So now I'll bring in a map that should be pretty close. It's not perfect, but it's an overlay map to show you better. And then another overlay of the red dots, the fallout areas, and in yellow, the spot where they say Padre is. The green lines I have here kind of maps out the fallout area. The red dots, of course, detonation spots. Morgan and Grace in Galveston by the sub, so that's north. That would be north of Padre. And since Victor didn't know about it or know what it was, I'm not sure exactly which direction he went and where he is. It seems like he would be north of Houston or north of Padre in that strip of area where there's not any fallout right there. You can see how they laid it out as far as there's kind of just a strip there that wasn't uh, doesn't have any fallout. There's maybe a little way out at the top, maybe a little way out down toward Mexico at the bottom, maybe uh, can go out the Gulf, uh, go out by water. But it looks like this little strip of land there is surrounded by fallout areas. So this definitely could keep our groups isolated there for a long time. As like the lady said, wrapped in bandages, that if you just keep driving toward Louisiana, you'll never get out of the fallout in time before you die like us and get all messed up. And it looks like if you go too far the other way, up toward Austin, up toward Dallas, the same thing will happen. So they're trapped in this little area. But Strand's right-hand man did come to the sub, tried to get Grace and the baby to go with him, said, Morgan, you're not invited. And it didn't show it, but I think there may be a reason why they came back to the sub. Not just to find Morgan. They didn't know if Morgan was alive or not. Not just to try to get Grace and the baby. They didn't even know Grace would have had the baby or had a baby. 
Were they there to get some type of tech? Were they there to get a nuke warhead that uh, they could maybe possibly take? Maybe some diesel. Not sure what they were after or what they would be able to get. But it was because of the baby crawling there at the end, Morgan and Grace went back to the sub instead of trying to find Padre or trying to keep going any direction where they may not make it. They come back to regroup at the sub. Still no food, but the baby crawling found a floorboard, had a trap door full of food. Amazing. Everybody saved a happy ending, kind of, until we see that uh, the bounty hunter's brother is back in town. He found his brother's head. He's not real happy about it, and he's coming after Morgan Jones. He's not as badass, it seems, as his brother. Maybe or maybe not up for the task, but Rufus is with him, and it's his twin brother. He mentions his brother to the guy he killed when he took the key. He said, that's my brother's recipe there, those beans you're eating. And he was talking about this guy, his twin brother. So with Morgan fighting all kinds of odds, here's one more thrown at him again. But hey, you guys let me know what you think about the episode and all the stuff that was happening down in the comments below, and I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff. <laughs> <laughs>